So I've been struggling with Creeping Charlie or Ground Ivy or Wild Violet, something in that family that has been creeping into my yard for quite a while now. And I haven't done anything about it for the most part, but now it is time that it's starting to really get aggressive and start to creep quite a bit into my bluegrass backyard. So I bought some T-Zone here. This is supposed to be very good for this type of thing. It has some triclopyr in it. And so I'm gonna try this out, see if I can get rid of some of this in my backyard and stop it from progressing into the rest of it. According to label directions here, I need 1.2 to 1.5 ounces of this product per gallon of water that covers 1,000 square feet. It also recommends that you do not use a surfactant or an adjuvant if you are not familiar with how it's going to interact with this product. So I've never used it before. I'm not going to use anything this time and we'll try it without any surfactant or anything mixed into there. I'm gonna go with the lower rate. I'm gonna go with 1.2 into one gallon of water and then we'll spray. All right, so this is not to scare you in any way, but I do want to give you some general warnings about this product compared to something you might buy in Home Depot or something similar. So this is more on a pro level as far as sprays would go, as far as herbicides go. So if you've never done any spraying before, I highly suggest that you do some practicing with water and you just go in your driveway or somewhere else and watch your spray pattern and get a consistent hand for how to spray it. So I'm using a fan tip type nozzle here, so I need to stay very consistent on my spray. I don't wanna be aiming the wand left or right or moving it around or going closer to the weeds or higher. I want a consistent spray, so I'm staying about knee height for me and I'm moving back and forth in one motion. And this is going to prevent us from damaging any of our good turf and just getting good even coverage on the weeds. So I wanted to give you that slight warning there that this is much higher in concentrate as far as the active ingredients go. So you need to be sure that you know what you're doing with it. But the results have been fantastic. So my results in only a few days actually surprised me. I've never used this product before, and on the weeds that I had in the backyard, they were looking brown and starting to curl up in maybe three to four days, some of them even less than that. So I was really happy with that. There are a few of them still mixed in the turf that are somewhat green, some of them look damaged. So remember that outside of the fence area, if we go back to the before stuff here, I had a really thick population of this weed coming in at that point, so I didn't really think that I would probably get everything in one spray. Knowing that I wanted even coverage in just one spray here at the beginning to see how the results would turn out, I knew that if I needed to do more, I would rather do one more application than go too heavy on the first one and do any damage to the turf. So the, for the most part, it did a great job. I do see a few outside of the fence. I also see one area that I pretty much completely missed with my sprayer. You can definitely tell a difference where those weeds are still growing in that area compared to the turf next to it. So we know that it's working. This does have a 30 day interval on the label that says you should not spray it again 
for 30 days so I will let it go for 30 days I will see what happens later on and if we're still in warm enough season that I can do that I will do that otherwise I will look to next spring and see what happens after we come out of the winter season I've been struggling with this type of weed in my lawn for a while and this looks like it has finally taken care of things if you have questions let me know down in the comment section below thank you so much for watching this video we'll see you next time